Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Wednesday, December 11th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. Click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages at DocSports.com, and it comes with the DocSports guarantee. It's as simple as that. $60 free account, great way to give DocSports.com a trial run get started by clicking on the link below the video. Not a bad day to do that because on Wednesday I've got my third seven unit play of the college basketball season. We've already won our first two. We're 2-0. Two oh. Our most recent was this past Saturday. We took a double digit dog, Illinois, plus 11. Uh, they covered by 10 points. They lost outright 59-58 to Maryland. However, Illinois even led by 14 at one point in that game. So dialed in seven unit play on Wednesday as we look to go to 3-0 and oh on the season and with our seven unit college basketball plays. That'll be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. NBA, NHL, you know the normal times, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Again, all over at DocSports.com. As far as football is concerned, all my plays for the entire weekend in the NFL will be posted Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time. We're on a real nice seven week run over 60% winners with folks up over $3,000 wagering just $100 per unit. Don't miss out on this week's card. And again, we'll talk a little bit more about that on Thursday's video. All right, to the free pick in just a moment. Real quick note, we're hammering away, hammering away, I should say, handicapping those college football bowl games. And, you know, there are things we look for. And, and I can tell you guys and share this with you, man, these pre-New Year's Day bowl games that don't mean a whole lot, that mean even less than they used to. Uh, you can look at ticket sales in some of these locales. And if you see a school who sold their allotment, 15, 20,000 tickets facing a, a school that sold 1,500 tickets and really generates no interest, then you kind of know which program is going to have interest in that particular bowl game. A good example, now this doesn't mean we're on La Tech when they take on Miami, Florida, but listen, Miami Hurricane players have talked about how they wanted to be in a bigger bowl. They wanted to take on a, a, a more marquee, if you will, opponent, as they kind of put it, and here they are stuck in a bowl game uh, against Louisiana Tech, and so little things like that add up. Now again, that doesn't mean that we're recommending to play on Miami or against Miami or on La Tech or against La Tech at this point. But those are the kind of things you look for. Along with the most important key factor to me, I want to know how teams move the football consistently, whether it be on the ground or through the air. And that's how we kind of look to uh, basically handicap some of the tools. And here's the thing. On Wednesday afternoon, late Wednesday afternoon, probably be available the video Wednesday night or Thursday morning at the latest, uh, myself and Tony George are going to talk about how to bet and how to handicap the college football bowl season, the upcoming season. So we'll talk a little bit more about that on uh, Thursday's video. Let you know if it's up yet, where to get it. I'll definitely be tweeting out the video once it is done. But we're going to record that late Wednesday afternoon, talk about how to bet on the upcoming bowl season. Just a little preview of what we're going to be talking about, the topics that we're going to be talking about in that particular video. All right, let's get to the free pick for Wednesday's card. We turn to the NBA. First half play finds Utah at Minnesota. And right now, Utah is laying half a point, about minus a dollar five ish in that neighborhood for that first half. They're a one point favorite full game. And this doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to be on this play full game. I might be on a different play in this game well, as far as the full game bet is concerned. But for the first half, here's the key. Uh, before the last two games, Utah had lost five of six. In those five losses, they not only trailed at the half of all five losses, but they trailed by double digits in every one of those five games. The average score at the end of the first half in their five losses during that stretch was 62 to 42. They were minus 20 points per game in the first half in those five losses. They seem to kind of turn things around a couple of the games ago. They got a win, uh, played a little bit better, did the Utah Jazz. But then last time out, although focused on the first half, they had a terrible third quarter, but they did trail at halftime also to Oklahoma City in the loss. This team's kind of messy right now. You've got a situation where they're taking low percentage shots, not running the offense well, turning the ball over way too much. Now they go into Minnesota where, again, full game, they're only a one-point favorite. They're only half a point if you're talking about the first half. And we think Minnesota's going to get him here in the first half of this game. Again, we don't like the way Utah is 
choosing their shots uh, in their offense, especially their half-court offense. Again, taking low percentage shots, that's not going to get it done. Uh, so anyway, we're going to recommend to play on Minnesota first half over the Utah Jazz in Wednesday night's NBA. Uh, and again, it's a situation where Utah just can't get it together right now. So we're not going to predict they're going to break out of their funk here. Uh, we think that they're going to be in a situation where they struggle again through the first half. And in this case with Minnesota at home, uh, a win by one point covers obviously the spread. In fact, a tie at halftime covers uh, this first half spread. So the Minnesota Timberwolves is the free pick, the video recommendation for Wednesday. Don't forget about Wednesday's premium card at DocSports.com. That college basketball seven-unit play will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern as we look to go to 3-0 on the season with our seven-unit plays in college baskets, NBA premium, NHL premium, all at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time. That's going to do it for us for Wednesday. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column right back here Thursday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.